hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna see how we can create a full body custom meta human uh, using mesh morpher uh, without Maya just uh, just uh, in the engine right we've uh, created our uh, we exported our obj file full body obj file from mesh morpher and uh, it was uh, wrapped uh, in a face form wrapper and now we're bringing back uh, the results right so uh, we're gonna first uh, start with uh, let's start with the head. Oh, let's open the head mesh and uh, let's go to create from mesh files and uh, let's uh, navigate to to our OBJ files. Right, we're gonna use full body OBJs. I'm gonna link a video in uh, in uh, the description on how to export full body as well. And uh, as you can see, our uh, mesh uh, is rotated uh, wrong, but we can change the front axis to X to fix it. Let's import uh, the morphed OBJ and let's rotate it uh, the same way. Now let's create the morph target. In this video we're gonna work only with uh, importing and baking uh, this uh, morph target on both head and uh, uh, body and uh, if you need further details you you can watch uh, uh, the specific uh, videos for your problems right I just wanted to remake this video because mesh for changed a little bit so I wanted to keep it up to date right so let's go back to the body and uh, click on create from mesh files and let's uh, select the same files we already have the front axis set to X. So we don't have to uh, do it. Let's uh, set the name Beast. And now uh, that uh, we have our morph targets, let's save the meshes. So in case anything happens, we don't have to import the files. Okay, this is the morph target, the head morph target, and this is the body morph target, right? Uh, let's go to poser now for the head. We need to create a bone snapshot from this morph target. Let's give it a name. We're going to call it uh, head. And uh, let's do the same for the body. We'll open the body in poser. Select the morph target to bone snapshot. Here we're going to leave root as start bone. And this we're going to call body. Now in order to have uh, uh, correctly uh, set up. Because we have to uh, two skeletons we need to merge these two bone snapshots so we make sure we don't have uh, different uh, transforms for uh, the shared bones right so let's select the body first always the body and then the head we are adding here in the same order that we have them in the blueprint right so head inherits from the body so this is why we're setting up this way let's press ok let's call this merged now that we have the merge morph target uh the merge uh, bone snapshot we can load it select our morph target and update from pose once we update from pose we can set uh, its weight to one and bake skeleton Okay, now we have to do the same for the head. We load the merged uh, bone snapshot. We select the beast uh, uh, morph target, update from 
pause we set the, the weight to 1 and then bake it let's uh, reload here okay and uh, now that the uh, our meshes are baked, we can uh, go to recompute normals and uh, recompute the normals together. Let's select the face mesh and let's select the body mesh. Here we, we are adding them, first the head and then the body. And we press OK. Now that uh, our normals are recomputed, we can go ahead and add our metahuman. Uh, into the world, into the level uh, world. And this is it. Uh, this is our meta human. If you have any issues with uh, any expression, we can, you can go ahead and customize it. So uh, there's another video on how to customize uh, expressions. If, for example, uh, any of uh, the eye expression, like look left is having problems or look up, you can go ahead and customize it to fix. So if you have any uh, uh, penetrations between uh, uh, different eye components, you can fix them. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you around. Bye.